President Trump meeting with Republican Senator Richard Shelby and Shelley Moore Capito in the Oval Office behind closed doors, hoping to come to a decision on an immigration bill to both to please both sides of the aisle. This is amid the growing backlash against this zero tolerance policy. We are monitoring this meeting. We're going to bring you any headlines that come out of it. The President Trump hitting back hard at critics of his immigration policies earlier today. Take a listen. The United States will not be a migrant camp, and it will not be a refugee holding facility. Won't be. You look at what's happening in Europe, you look at what's happening in other places, we can't allow that to happen to the United States, not on my watch. We want safety and we want security for our country. Me now to discuss this is Ken Paxton, Texas Attorney General. General, good to see you. Uh, what do you think about what the president said? Look, his job is to enforce existing law, not to make it up. Under President Obama, he clearly did not enforce existing law, and we, we created an incentive for people to come here with their children because they'd be released. What President Trump is doing is he's, he's securing the border just like he said he would do. Well, let's talk about what existing law is, because some people are saying that he is making up with regard to separation of family. Uh, Rich Lowry wrote a piece a couple of weeks ago in National Review about separation and when it happens. He said separation happens only if officials find that the adult is falsely claiming to be the child's parent or is a threat to the child or is put into criminal proceedings. Now, that sounds relatively reasonable as why you would separate children from adults. Is that true? No, that's absolutely true. That's, those are the reasons that, that we separate parents from children, and that's required under a consent decree that the Clinton administration negotiated back in 1997. So this has been the law since 97. Uh, so the president has not changed existing immigration law with regard to separation of, of children from, from their parents? That's correct. President Obama ignored existing law and thus created incentive for people to come here with their children. And really effectively what we have uh, uh, with that type of uh, system is we have open borders. We don't really have uh, we don't really have a border. We don't really have security. We've just opened it up to anybody that decides they want to bring children and then they're effectively let go into our country. Well, one thing that President Obama couldn't ignore is the fact that 125,000 unaccompanied young people came into the United States uh, below the age of 16 from the time of 2010 until 2016. 125,000 unaccompanied children came to the U.S. What happened to them and why wasn't the uproar happening then about what he was doing? Well, I, I'm not sure why there wasn't an uproar, because obviously that created a, a, a difficult situation for those border states that are having to accommodate that many children without their parents. And effectively, you know, it, it was a it was an open border for 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 everyone.